So in this section, we will be talking about association, composition and uh, projection. So association and composition we have used or we have seen a lot in the CDS. And uh, if you go to the CDS professional development course, then uh, we have extensively used it. And also in many CDS view, you will find the usage. And uh, the primary reason for using any kind of association composition or projection is to basically define how two things and here things means CDS view are related. So if I have a CDS view A and a CDS view B, so imagine this is a sales order and uh, this is the sales order item. So how these two views are related to each other. So we defined which particular fields on which they are related. So there will be some key fields. So in this case, sales order and item are related with the key field of sales order document number, which is VBLN. And uh, we define that in the association that, okay, these two are related. Now there is one more information, which we also tell, okay, how they are related. What is the cardinality? So for one particular parent, how many child can be possible. So for a particular sales order, we might have multiple number of child. So I'm just writing here star. So how many childs can exist? It can happen that only one can exist or multiple can exist. So we basically define that here in association and we call that as a cardinality. And cardinality is also an optional field. So you can miss it when defining the CDS view then uh, there will be the default cardinality which will be put here which is 0 to 1. Now what is this 0 to 1 and uh, how the syntax of a cardinality is actually interpreted. So when we say this uh, 0 to 1 or we say 1 to n and here what we mean by that. So here the n is represented by a star so that means n. Now cardinality basically represent how two CDS view or table are related and always they are talking about target. So in this case, the target is B. So how the B is related to A. So cardinality always talk about the target and the first value here is the minimum. So this is the minimum and uh, this is basically the maximum. So what is minimum? What is maximum? And what do I mean by that? So in this case of sales order and uh, item, when I say zero to star, what I'm actually referring is that for one sales order, I can either have zero or I can have n number of items. So the cardinality is basically talking about target and the minimum value is zero and the maximum value of item can be any number of items. So that is what it represent. Now the syntax is quite straightforward in the parent here, which is uh, the sales order we are talking, define view A from table underscore A. Now this is the table from which we are basically creating the CDS view or selecting the CDS view from. And uh, this can be either a table or it can be again a CDS view. So that can be also in some cases. And we use the keyword association define cardinality of B. Now while defining the child here, which is the item in our example, we say define view B from table or maybe from other CDS view and the keyword here is association with the cardinality to A. So in both the cases, the keyword here are association. So that is basically to be kept in mind because uh, you will confuse or many times you get confused this with the composition. Now coming to the composition part, composition is a special kind of association relationship. Now, what is the speciality here? So when we say, okay, A and B are related in a composition relationship and B is the child and A is the parent, that means we say that B cannot exist if A cannot exist. So one of the example is a sales order and a item. So if my order doesn't exist, then item within that order can also not exist in my database. So that is what it means. Now to understand this properly, I can give you a counter example where you cannot use composition. For example, we know that okay, sales order is 
related to item and uh, item is related to again material so all the item will have a one-to-one -one relationship with the material now for one sales order now cardinality is always defined for the target and here it is item so zero to star and uh, here item to material so for one item there will be minimum one material and maximum one material okay so if my item doesn't exist and my order doesn't exist then my material will be still be present in my particular database table so that material is not going anywhere so therefore i cannot use composition for defining the relationship between your item and material so this is the place where we cannot use composition because even if the item doesn't exist that same material can exist in our database okay so i hope that you got a clear idea now the syntax is quite different here the main difference is instead of using association keyword we use composition then we define the target cardinality so these two are the main difference in the parent now in the child instead of writing here here in the previous case of association we used to write association and then cardinality here we can just simply mention that it is associated to the parent because we know that if the child is present as a composition then if the parent doesn't exist then the child also doesn't exist so this is how the relationship in a composition is and this is how the syntax is which we write initially to define a cds view now here again in this case we might have a table or we can also have a cds view and here also cds view now i'm not talking about the syntax which we write after here to specify okay in which key field the relationship exists so this i'm not talking about because i want to keep this particular video only about the difference between association and composition because many a time we are not clear about that and also this cardinality so how this cardinality is uh, present so cardinality is always defined for the target and uh, the first value is minimum and the second value is the maximum now sometime you can also see that okay someone writing only one value and uh, for example if i'm just writing one so that is equivalent to writing zero to one so that is what it is okay now before we actually move into your projection i would like to highlight one important point what we have shown here in the wrong way or which you might have missed for now so the point here is that here we are writing the parent and here we are writing it as a child and we just recently discussed this that in association the child can exist even if the parent doesn't exist so that is basically the stricter form of association we just discussed as composition so here in association we should not write it as parent and child and therefore i'm using a dotted line here that means they are not strictly to say a parent child relationship but in composition we have a parent child relationship now one of the very important question which to the current scenario which will be relevant is whenever we have a root cds view so this is the root cds view which we have seen in the design time component and uh, this root cds view will be your parent so whenever we create the root cds view we have to basically create it as a parent and uh, the other cds view will be acting as child so if the other cds view are acting as a child then we have to use composition to define the relationship so we will not be using association if the cds is the root cds but we will be using composition because according to wrap framework you have to have the parent child relationship in the root cds view and this will also allow our root cds view to entirely control or own all the cds view because in the composition we know now that it's a stricter form of association and we can say that if we delete the parent then automatically the child's will be 
deleted or should be deleted. So that is the idea. And in the future, when we create the hands-on root CDS and in the hands-on, we create the root CDS view, we will be using composition whenever we are using root CDS. And in the basic CDS, while we create the VDM, we will be using association. So this is one of the very important question which many a times you will have, okay, why we are using composition in the root CDS because we have to basically create a parent child relationship. And that is the reason why you will see that it is composition in the root CDS. Okay, so now let's come back to our discussion and uh, we will go to the projection view and we will understand why the projection view is used, what are those. So let's catch up in the next section to see that. So coming to the projection. So the projection is completely different. Now why it is different? Because uh, the first thing is that we can only have projection for one particular CDS view. So if P is a projection CDS view, then it can only project from one single source. And uh, here in this case, if A need to be projected to P, then P cannot have, okay, B. Again, uh, the B fields as part of the projection. So this cannot happen. Now, what is the need for this projection? Now, for example, imagine that you have this view A and um, this is basically a composite view. So this is a composite CDS view and uh, you are basically using it in your project and a lot of other projects are also using the same composite view. Now, you have a specific app requirement. You are creating this front end of the app in SAP UI5. And for that, you need to write very weird annotations. And these are UI annotations, which are very specific to this particular project. And uh, if you put those in your CDS view and other developers say, okay, I don't need this fancy or annotations in my view and I'm also using the same CDS view. Can you just create one more CDS view and you basically add your annotation with that and don't pollute a composite CDS view which is used by multiple other people. So what you do is you basically create a projection of that particular view and uh, the projection will be basically mapping out all the feature and it is like copying the particular CDS view and to this projection now you can add those annotations because this projection view is only specific to your project and this we can also refer as a consumption CDS view. So that is what the usage of the projection view is. And this is a new type of relationship in CDS views. So to define a projection CDS view, you can only say define view P, which is the projection view name and as projection on and A is the source here. Now to summarize the association, composition, projection are kind of a relationship and uh, composition is a special form of association where the child cannot exist if parent doesn't exist and projection relationship is basically to expose all the features of a particular CDS view and um, add more project specific annotations to that particular CDS view we use projection CDS view okay I hope that these things are clear now let's come back to our VDM and we will be discussing what are the artifacts we are going to use in our VDM